what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out the story from the undertaker tearing his rotator cuff while wrestling kane now i don't think i checked out this clip this was on the joe uh rogan uh podcast so i think this is one of the clips i didn't get a chance to check out but i definitely want to check this out because you know the undertaker has i'm sure plenty of stories of him wrestling while injured and i believe he uh, has a new youtube channel so i may want to check out some stuff on his uh personal youtube page it's crazy to say that the undertaker has a youtube channel so i'm sure he has some interesting stories um that he has talked about on there so if you guys want me to check out uh some of his clips on youtube uh let me know down below but i definitely wanted to check this out because this definitely sounds very interesting the fact that he wrestled with a torn rotator cuff is just insane and he didn't just wrestle someone small he wrestled he was wrestling kane at the time someone just his size like that's incredible let's check this out appreciate all love and support you guys shown on the channel let's get right into this one man. bring a lot too after yeah that. yeah that and, and then you know uh, then i have no uh super spinatus either none none it's completely severed when did that happen well, it, it was a progression of a lot of tears. Jeez. And uh, the, the last tear I was working, I think, I don't know, maybe t around 2010, I was working with Kane, who's a just big, big dude. And uh, I was I was trying to trying to throw him up on my shoulder. And I was going to try and give him, you know, my, a pile driver. You know, he's 330 pounds Jeez. and he gets, he, his, his weight kind of gets stuck here and I'm too stupid to put him down and readjust. So I'm trying to, you know, oh, trying to pop my hips no. and get him up there. And finally I hear, oh. I heard it pop. I was like, holy shit. Got through the match, uh, flew to Nashville the next day. And, uh, I said, doc, I need a shot of cortisone. And, uh, he's like, he goes, Mark, he goes, your shoulder really needs to be fixed. I like, Doc. I'm right in the middle of something right now. I can't. Bro, I, th this is. I don't think y'all understand. My man went up there not to get something fixed. He heard the pow. He didn't go up there to get it fixed. He went up there to get a shot of cortisone to help with the pain. Hey, I got some stuff. I got probably some more matches. Maybe some house shows. Hey, let's get it going. Hey, I, I just need the shot. And I can keep it moving. And the doctor's like, my my boy, your your shoulder is is GG's. Like, what are we doing? Like, you you what? Bro, that's insanity, bro. That's insanity. I said, let me get through, you know, let me get through mania. I said, just you know, give me the shot. And then after mania, I'll come and I'll get it fixed. And it, reluctantly he did. Wow. And normally the shot would last four or five months, six months. So he's in Nashville. So I go, I get the shot. I fly back to Austin. By the time I get home, it's like I didn't get the shot at all. Oh. So I call him back up and uh, I was like, all right, Dr. Bird, you're, you're a little smarter than I am. He goes, he says, well, fact, Mark, it's so bad. Like, I want you to go see somebody else. I want you to see a shoulder specialist. So I go see Dr. Andrews. You know, you know Dr. Andrews is like the, you know, he's the guy that did Tommy John. He's the athlete's doctor. I go see, I go see him. And, uh, it's the first time this has ever happened to me. I, I go into the examining room and he's already there waiting. <laughs> I, I don't know if anybody else has ever been to the doctor's office and the doctors, he's sitting there and he's looking at me and I'm looking at him like, cause I'm, I'm a little taken back that he's already in the room. Right. Not, you know, and, and we're looking at each other. Nobody says anything. And he goes, son, <laughs> he goes, I don't know if there's anything I can do for you. He had obviously already seen my MRI and everything. Damn. He goes, he says, can you lift your arm? I was like, yes, sir. Yeah, I can lift it. He says, can I see you lift it? Like, yeah. He said, can you lift to the side? And I go, yeah, I can lift to the side. He goes, there's no reasonable explanation why you're able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, when the doctor's telling first, when a doctor's waiting for you, to come in, you already know there's something up because doctors usually are doing something else. You got to wait for them to see you. When he's waiting for you in his office and you tell him, hey, uh, 
lift your arm up. You shouldn't be able to do that. Well, how is that even possible? Undertaker, man, he he's a different, he's a different breed. <laughs> wow. I'm like, he says, you've taught yourself how to use that arm with that severe injury. He goes, so we talked for a while and he goes, he says, can we meet back in about an hour? He goes, I need, I need to think about this. Damn. I'm like, well, yeah. I'm in Birmingham. Like, I, you know, what am I going to do? I got nothing else to do. You know, I got to find out what I, you know, what's going on with his shoulder. So we meet back in an hour and he goes, uh, he goes, I'm going to try. He goes, I don't think I can fix it. He says, but I feel like I owe it to you just to try. Wow. And, Damn. Uh, even with that, and I'm thinking, well, that's James Andrews, right? Surely he's going to fix it. You know, he's just being humble. So I have the surgery. You know, I wake up out of surgery and my wife is, you know, she's right there. I can look on her face and I can tell like, you know, what good. And I was like, babe. And she goes, and about that time, Dr. Andrews comes in. He goes, he goes, well, we found it. I was like, you found it? He goes, yeah. And he said, the end of the, the supraspinate was about back here. He says, we clamped on and we pulled, and we tugged. And he said, we might have been able to get it sewn back together. He says, but the first time you try to use it, it was going to pop. It was just so dead because it had been torn for so long. Damn. How long did it was was it torn before you went to talk to him? Well, that was when it that last one was when it tore completely in half. So it had already been damaged. It had already been damaged. Yeah, and I was getting shots of cortisone oh. to, to kind of mm. mask the pain. That's and then why when I, it popped off. That yeah. was it. And there Jeez. wasn't enough left to attach it. Jesus, Bye. bro. He says you're uh he says, your biceps tendon had come out of its groove, too. He said, we did put that back. That should help you a little bit. I'm like, okay. What and so, fuck? you know, I go back to work. But now, you know, now I'm getting older. And so, you know, my physical skills are already starting to kind of diminish. And, and you know when that happens. But now, like, when I'm in a match, now I've got to be cognizant all the time of where my shoulder is in in relation to whatever it is i'm doing like i had there was a lot of things like tombstones like i had to i had to change how you know Mm -hmm. how i would pick people up because i couldn't get my arm out extended because i had no strength damn and i couldn't clothesline people i mean i had to you know i need that i had to have like my my arm almost supported by my lat to to do a lot of different moves and there's no other option like they can't do a cadaver well it was and what what you know in the shit that I do and we do it would have tore and that's he told me that he said we could have tried a cadaver he says it's not gonna it's not gonna last if you want to wrestle yeah and at that point I had no I, I like I've been doing it this long with it hurt I'll figure out a way you know I wasn't ready to I wasn't ready to give it up yet and uh, so I waited a couple of years and then I call uh, uh, I call Doctor Dugas. And I said, hey, Doc, because he assisted on on the first one with Dr. Andrews. I said, hey, you guys doing anything new with the shoulder? And he says, yeah. He said, like, come on down. He said, I think I can hook you up. I was like, oh, shit. Okay, I wish somebody called me. You know, let me know. Right. You, know, let's, you know, let me know what's going on. And uh, so same kind of deal. Have the surgery, wake up. See, you know, Michelle sitting there, see her. Didn't have the quite the same disappointed look mm. on her face, you know, about this time. Here comes Dr. Dugas. And he goes, well, he goes, plan A? No, that didn't work, which would have was to retach everything. He said, plan B? No, nah, that didn't work either. Oh, shit. <laughs> he said, went to plan C. He says, which will help your, you know, your recovery time. He says, well, what I did, they took the part of my infraspinatus, the one in the back, they detached part of it, stretched it over the top. So my infraspinatus is doing double duty now. Wow. So it works where I, if you were to look down before the surgery, like if you had a tube that could see down in my shoulder, I was 100% exposed. Wow. You could see the joint. Damn. So now 
I'm about 50 to 70 percent covered by the infraspinatus that he stretched over the top and reattached it. Once again, modern medicine. Wow. And, uh, you know, I'm not, my right side isn't as strong as my left side. I'm right hand dominant, but I'm twice as, three times as strong as I was before I had the surgery. Wow. Bro, that's, that's incredible. That's incredible. Shout out to the doctors being able to help the undertaker and just shout out to him wrestling that long with that type of injury this is why i'm gonna always have respect for wrestlers bro especially that are out there day in day out putting their bodies on the line like that bro and just going to the doctors hey man i know i heard a pop but just shoot me with some cortisone i'll, I'll be good like that's insanity true insanity much respect this is why he's the GOAT. This one he's, he's one of the greatest to ever do it. And much respect to these wrestlers destroying their bodies for our entertainment, man. But comment down below. Let me know, man, uh, your favorite Undertaker match and or moment from him. He's had so many of them. Let me know your favorite so we can, you know, go down memory lane and show our support for the GOAT himself. But I appreciate all the love and support. Pro 250K, and I'm still here in the speed of YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See you on the next one. Peace.